Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. Last time, some of you sent me your playing videos. I was so touched by the videos. I knew many of you are already learning with my channels, but it's actually the first time to see if somebody is playing it and really learning by my instructions. It was so heartwarming and more than I can express. So thank you very much and thank you for staying with me. And I hope really you can play a nice song that you really want to play. Finally, today we're going to learn actual musical notations. We have learned pre-musical notations, but not actual note names. We will start today. First, it will be theory section. So I will go over everything about what is the time signature, what is the key signature, what is the treble clap, bass clap, and which one is note names and everything I will cover on the theory. And then the next session video will be actual playing on reading notes. Now let's see. If you look at the screen, you can see the clefs are drawn on the five lines, two different clefs. Now let's see the lines. Line number one starts from the bottom, two, two, three, four, five, going up. So actually, the line number one is starting from inside and two, three, four, five, moving outside. See it that way, rather than going up and down, just it's like fan spreading over. So you always start from the inside to spreading out. Three, four, and five. Now, if you're looking at the second line, the color is different from the other four because the second line is important in music. Let's see. What is the clef names? First one on top here, we call treble clef. Treble clef, the, the other name is known as a G clef. Because this blue line, the second line is G line. And we draw this clef, treble clef, starting from this G line and turning around, around and around. So it's moving within the second lines. Now, the bottom one is always lower than the treble clef, and it makes low sound. Name is bass clef. This clef is drawn from F and moving up and down, and little two dots are drawn between this F line. This clef is known as F clef or bass clef. Top one is known as a treble clef or G clef. Next, between the treble clap and bass clap, you will find huge space here. But in this huge space, there are only three notes are written. You have to remember which one is. First one, middle C. We talked about a middle C. Where is middle C? You know it, right? This is very important note. It's going to divide treble clap and bass clap. That's what we call middle C. Above the middle C, there are D and Bs, both same space, just one note apart. D is just one step up from middle C, and B is just one step down from the middle C. So these three notes, C, D, B, is written on this huge space, but they are just right next to each other's. And if the composer wants you to play it this middle C with right hand, then they will put it this one closer to the treble clef so that you can play it with right hand C, D. Or if they put it this middle C closer to the bass clef, then you have to play it with your left hand. It's the same only one note, this one middle C, but it depends on where it's closer to right hand or left hand. Next important thing, as I mentioned, this is a G clef, so whichever on this second line is a G note, and in the bass clef, the second line is F note. Moving to the next one, now another magic number two. Top from second space is a treble clef. Why? Because it's written on 
treble clef, and this is a treble C. Bottom from the second space is base C. So if we fold it on the middle C, they will meet exactly on the same place, just like a mirror. The next one, and these two lines, the bottom one is low C, since it's lower than the base. Then exactly the same thing if you want to play it high C. Then you draw the two lines, name it high C. So these are all the C families. Do you see? Middle C, top from second space is a trouble C. Bottom from second space is base C. And two lines, low C, high C. Some people draw the two lines and draw the note on here. No, that's not C. This is, this is skip down from the C. So it will be A, not C. You have to be careful with it. Also, in bass clef, you draw the two line, and if you draw the note on the first line that is not low C, what is it going to be? Low from skip up, because this way is up. Then this note will be E. Don't be confused. Now, another confusing thing. This is middle C, but if you draw note here, that's not middle C. Why? Because this is not middle space. Middle space is only between treble clap and bass clap. So if you draw this one, and if it belong to the bass clap, this is not the middle C. There is no bass clap, and only treble clap is presented, and if they draw the notes with one lines on it, that's the still middle C's. So you have to see, is that below the treble clap? or below the bass clap. That's important. Now this time, I will go over space note name. We have five lines, right? As you see, one, two, three, four, five. And we have a four spaces. One, two, three, four. F-A-C-E. Face, smiley face. Just like a smiley face or angry face Crying face, it really doesn't matter which face it is. Just face, F-A-C-E. Then, it's much easier to recognize the note. F from stepping up, G. That's a D, C, D. Or you can find it F from space to space, a skip down. That's D. That's how you can find it. Now, that's only for the treble clap, not for the bass clap. Bass clap has a different space name. Let's see. Since bass clap is always one step lower than treble clap, you have to draw this four space notes below. Not on exactly on the space, but one below. So F, A starts on the same place as F. Do you see here? So F, A, C, E. Then what about here? Top this space is missing something. You can just count as E from skipping up. So it's going to be E, F, G. That way you can remember. Or space no for the bass clap is or car eats gas. A, C, E, G. Or car eats gas. Whichever is easier for you, you can just take it and memorize it. F-A-C-E and draw the F-A-C-E below one step down. Or you can remember face for treble clap space and or car it's gas for bass clap space note. Now, finally, we have learned most of the things. Middle C and treble C, bass C, high C, low C, and G. For G clef, oops, or F clef, bass clef, and F notes here. And just between B space, middle C, D, B, right? And the last is space note name, F A C E for treble clef, and bass clef for F A C E one step down, or or car is gets. Now, let's try test. 
Number one, what is this? Treble clef. Number two, what is this? Bass clef. Now, what is another name for the treble clef? Letter name. G clef. Why? Because this is a G line. So remember that way so that you don't forget this is a G line. What about another name for the bass clef? Letter name. F clef. Why? Because this line, the second line is F. So these two little dots are drawn between the F. What about number three? If you're looking at the score, you will always find something. It can be sharps, it can be flats, or it can be none. There's nothing written on it. We call key signature. Key signature tells you how many sharps to put or how many flats to put. Even nothing is also key of C. Then next, number four. Yes, we learned this one. Time signature. Time signature tells you how many beats in a measure, right? This time, let's figure it out, the note name. What is the first space? F. So this is F. What about that note? Let's see. F, A. A stepping up is B. Uh-huh. That's how you find. What about that one? Third space. So F, A, C. Oh, that's the C. Or you can find even top from the second space is trouble C. And the last note is F A C E. So that's E. That's how you can find. Basically, you read as a graph, skip, and step, or how far it is. But something like this is kind of far, and you have to count. Then the easiest way is you. Go F A C E and try to figure it out. This note name. Now let's move it on to the next one. Bass clef. The first note is, let's see, F A B. Stepping up is a B, so this is a B. What about the next one? B from skip up, so it's gonna be D. Or this is bass C. Do you remember? Bottom from the second space is a C. So that's a D because it's a stepping off from C to D. What about this? Then F G, right? Or you can even count F G. Yes. What about the very last one? Do you remember we have something special name? All car is guess. So that's a G. Guess G. That's how you can find the note names. How is the theory? It's kind of confusing, I know. We have so many things to remember. Trouble clap, bass clap, time signature, key signatures, and measures, bar lines, and C families, and space note for trouble clap, bass note, and everything. When I was a leader, I started with the trouble clap first and played for a couple of weeks, and then adding left hand and playing a couple of weeks later, and we put it finally both in together. I learned by Bile, we call it. It's German method. So once you start it with on C, and later on adding left and C, and both plays on the treble clef for a while, and then moving down to bass clef, and put it both in together. By the time when you play it both in together, half of the people quit. Why? Because it's really confusing. It's just like you learn two different languages. So it's easier to start at the beginning. You have to see it as a big picture instead of the small note names. You cannot get just by one session of the lesson. You have to go over it every day once and at least review for seven days. Then you can get it. So even if you don't get it right now, don't be sad or don't be depressed. That's fine. No one gets within one day. So just need a time. Even if you spend three, four hours within a day, it's not going to work. It just need time. So you just print it out. Another exercise, I will post it. And just print it out and solve the question and then check it. And then do every day, just even for five minutes every day is much more effective than you sit it one day and try to figure it out within three hours. I will upload the next plain video based on which we have learned today. 
So until the video is coming up, just review your stuff. And if you have any question, you can contact me. And especially thank you so much for some of you send me your video. I really appreciate it. And also if you want to send it, send me anytime and I will respond to your video or respond to your questions too. Good luck on your study this time and I will see you next time. Thank you.